Holy hell, Steph Infection listeners. Thanks again. God damn it. You really make me happy that you're listening to this disgusting podcast of mine. Here are my tour dates. Come see me live for crying out loud. I will be in Orlando, Florida on September 7th. Then I'll be in Tampa September 8th and 9th. Still in September, I'm heading back to the motherland, Canada. I'm in Vancouver doing the great outdoors comedy festival. Then guess what? I'm doing a big show in L.A. Me and my good buddy Pat Bercher are doing a double headline set at Flappers on September 18th. Hilarious name for a club. Come see that if you're in Los Angeles. Then I'm heading to Sacramento, California, the 21st to 23rd. Then I'll be in San Fran at Cobbs. Hey, San Fran, I have fans there. Come see me on the 24th. Then guess what? I'm heading to Madison, Wisconsin, October 5th, 6th, 7th. Still in October, I'm back to... Back to Canada, goddammit. I'll be in Calgary at the Laugh Shop the 12th to the 14th. Then I'll be in Vegas at Wise Guys the 20th, 21st. San Diego, La Jolla. I'll be at the Comedy Store the 27th, 29th. And guess what? Here's my big fucking drop. God damn it. I'm coming to Boston. Boston, goddamn Massachusetts. I'll be there. I think I said that wrong. I don't care. I'll be at the Crystal Ballroom on November 12th. Tickets are on sale now. Get them before they are gone. And then don't forget my big Toronto show, December 14th. Oh, my fucking God. I am 80% sold out. Guess what? That's not a lot of tickets left. Maybe 200 tickets left. Get your tickets. They're going to go. I don't know why I'm from New York all of a sudden. Thank you. Buy tickets. Bye. <laughs> Steph Infection fans, get ready. We got a good one. We got a good one. Jackie Dawn is here. How are you? Hello, darling. I'm How's it going? Good. How are you? Good. I just think that I'm, I'm excited to be here. I don't want to come out of the gate with a complaint, but I do have a complaint. Your background is so much better than mine. Are you going to green screen in some fucking mountains back here? I don't, but I can. Do you want me to? Do you want I a big... I just feel I wore the red, then I have the... It's giving Christmas. It is giving And your background Christmas. is giving chic, <laughs> Lower East Side, neon, oh. young. 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 And mine is giving, come back to mine is giving like, <laughs> oh, we made a mistake. <laughs> what? How many? You, these neon signs ain't cheap. I'm going to get five neon but signs you, but here. But you even have like wood. You have green, fake green. But you have, you're giving, I'm not. Okay. Well, but when these clips come out, it's just going to be our fucking fat heads sitting there. So it's not going to be. And if you don't, you have a literal green screen. Put something cute behind you, my fat head. Cute? Do you understand how much I hate social media? I was on the phone today <laughs> for an too. hour discussing how I need someone to take over my social media because I'm up to 1 a.m. every night editing clips. It's mentally ill. I, I always complain about this. I understand, but like I'm actually going. I had to leave a concert the other night. A really fun concert. Me and a friend went down to the resident downtown LA. Brady, fucking shout out, amazing. She's so amazing. Her and her band. Anyways, see them. People are hanging after. I'm like, I gotta go. I have to edit a clip. I must edit a clip before I go to bed. <laughs> And I'm like in bed, like my <laughs> eyes are burning from like doing it for like so late. I'm like, I swear to God, I close my eyes. I'm like, I can still see color. Can I tell you, this is my actual, I'm working on um, a glow recap podcast. Like basically like everyone's doing yeah. the rewatch. We should mention, yes, you were, you're amazing on glow for fuck's sake. Oh, thank yeah, you. That was, you were insane. I was so jealous. Do you always see someone's role and you're like, God damn it. Um, I was so jealous. Yeah, I <laughs> it was do. so good. And the good news is for the people who are jealous of like my one win is that I, <laughs> I'm, my head just the one, yeah. um, I, so let's not leave any space for being happy yeah. for that, um, but uh. I was that, and kind of went back to it, but I was that every single time, I mean, I started acting when I was nine, so oh, I had hot 20 something years before mm -hmm. Glow to feel that exact same way of like, she's playing Bette Midler's daughter, oh, or yeah, yeah, oh yeah. my God, that person's doing whatever the thing is that I feel like should be mine but it's then I, then glow happened and they wanted a bunch of ragtag no name lunatics no and there I was I thought also you've been in way more well like I thought because I, I don't think, watch a lot of stuff and I just assume that well I, I, I have I, I, okay now it's weird because now I'm just now it's a resume listing yeah. but I know I have I've been doing this for 150 years yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah, if yeah. I wasn't get if I didn't have these little wins along the way it would actually be psychopathic yes, that I continue because it was borderline insanity to continue to do the exact same thing and it 
not to change and to never get the part and uh -huh. to never be the pick and to never until you're 36, which is like m by that point, most people have hung their hats. Yeah. <laughs> but I had like <laughs> yeah, yeah. a development deal with this really big writer that mm -hmm. created Mad About You. And he was like, we're making you a show. Like, let's. So I was like, all right, well, somebody sees something here. And then it didn't go. Mm -hmm. And then I was doing a show with like Daniel Stern and Judd Hirsch. And then it didn't go. And then I was doing a thing. And so like I'm doing all these pilots, development uh -huh. deals. So I'm like on the track to have the thing. Mm -hmm. I just never had the thing. It's crazy the amount of no's we get. Mm -hmm. And how the fuck do we continue on? Someone asked me the other day how I deal with the rejection. And it occurred to me, <laughs> so fucked up, I don't. I don't. <laughs> like, no, but like, if, if it's something that you're really, really close to, like if I was up for Glow and I'm going back in and I'm doing a work session with mm -hmm. Betty Gilpin and I'm sitting there with Genji Cohan who created uh, Orange is the New Black and EP mm -hmm. Glow and these big time people, you don't book those, you go home, you cry, you need a couple days. Yeah. But all the other things, you make a self tape for a random Rebel Wilson movie, you make a self tape for this, you make a self tape for that. I send them off and it, I'm, I'm, I'm genuine when I say I don't feel an ounce of rejection. Because there is no rejection. Mm. It's a non-rejection. You're waiting yeah, for the yeah, no yeah. that never comes. So then you're not waiting. And uh -huh. you go on with your life. And then they call you. And they're like, hey, they liked your tape. And you're like, who? Yeah, for what? what? Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'm yeah. back in. I'm yeah. back in. Yeah. Now if I don't book it, maybe I'm upset and need yes. a chance. Yes, yes, to yes. get over myself. but at Or get over it. It's not really myself I'm getting over. But I think... For most of it, like tons of commercial auditions, voiceover auditions, mm. self tapes, episodics, little parts in movies here and there, and you don't get any. You don't get anything. No, there's, a, there's nothing. No, you you get absolutely nothing. Yeah, there's nothing. <laughs> then you leave me like, huh? I how you must book a lot of voice stuff. Listen, no, <laughs> but also I have. Yes, and okay. so it's this weird yeah. thing where it's like I don't know anyone who's booking a lot of anything. Yeah, I don't know. Like why, if I yeah. do two commercials a year, it's like. That's, I'm going yeah, to, yeah, well, yeah. Heartbreak, Heartbreak does feel good in a place like this. Yeah. A lot of people don't know. She said Nicole Kidman off mic for yeah, those yeah, listening yeah, at yeah, home. Yeah. The green. I wish I wasn't reminded. It's, it's, it looks fucking great. And most people just listen to this for God's sake. anyways. a merry <laughs> okay, little. Okay. The Jew in the red shirt with the green background being like, I know a Carol. I know a Carol. <laughs> That's a good one. I know a Carol. Silverberg. Thank you. Okay, it's a name. Okay. It's a woman's I get name. Who, yes, okay. I don't know them personally. My friend's um, mom. Um, <laughs> I love shouting out a friend mother on a fucking podcast thank you i was gonna say when rejection with that shit the only time i get really upset is when it's a role that i'm like i should get that and then also you are so fucking good we need to talk about the reading you did for us but you're so talented and so good but also so specific I, that yes. it's easy for you to look at something and go with the tone of my voice and the way i say words and mm -hmm. who i am how the fuck mm -hmm. who else is gonna bark yeah, this yeah, at yeah. them the way i especially am. if it is that yes. so i went out for what was for um a new fairly brother movie and it was a crossing guard and i was like i'm booking this part <laughs> i'm a crossing guard i did it i said in my i said in my first egg my were like yeah that's hilarious <laughs> I find out they're like still, they have me in mind still. But then I find oh, out you're that in the mix. I was in the mix. You're in the mix. I was in the mix. But then I also found out that so was Tim Dillon and JC Carias. And I don't want to be rude, <laughs> but both of those men are a bit hefty. Both of those guys are pretty big, pretty big boys. I'm like, it's between me and these two overweight white men. I'm like, is that my category now? Like, I am so far, I, I'm like in some very specific psychotic it's category now. It's not your category. Your upset. category is, see, it's what's really interesting is that like, you are one of a tiny list of women that make me look delicate. <laughs> and it's and it's something I've always uh -huh. thought. Oh, there's, yes. a, there's a, another girl in New York. She has two gay moms. She's amazing. She was just on Rick Glassman's podcast. J Jensen. Oh, fuck. I have oh, to Jordan up. Jensen. Jordan Jensen. Yes, yes. That yes. bitch makes me laugh. Yes, she's so funny. But she's another one that I'm like, oh, it, it, it makes Ooh. me feel like I'm in a fucking flower dress yeah. <laughs> uh, with a parasol when normally yeah, 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 I'm yeah, the yeah. barky bitch at a yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Either of you come in and I'm like, oh, making me look delicate. But uh -huh. all of that is to say, <laughs> you, yours, I didn't know I was specific. I oh, mm -hmm. thought 
that I was the super bro- sure yeah. funny broad. I could mm-hmm. be the gal next door. Mm-hmm. It's like that weird thing too, where you're like a skosh away from like the energy of the lead, but you're like just edgier than that. Mm-hmm. But you're not like weird and kooky enough to be the best friend. So it's like you're in this weird yes thing. But anyway, my entire career, I never knew I was specific. I just thought I was like very easily hireable, and no one was hiring me. And then I looked at myself and was like, oh. oh okay. Then you watch Glow, and you're like, oh, I'm I kind see. of yes, the crossing yes, guard. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, I mean, not. I am. I'm kind, but the, my energy is. You're like the cool crossing guard, though. Yeah, I'm like the mean, you're the crazy, psycho, bird. crazy bitch. I want to talk about your your movie that you wrote. I don't know how much you can talk about, but it was so fucking good. Like usually, people when they ask you to do a script read, I'm like, for fuck's sakes, I don't want to fucking, you know what I mean? It's like you have to fake laugh and pretend well, you like because it because I'm and a I'm, person who everybody asks to do that. I think I might be a little more discerning of asking other people unless I think the material is great. But then I guess the people who've asked me whose readings I've done and it was, oh no, they thought it was great too. Yes. That's hard. Uh, but then you did over Zoom and I was like, I'm really bad at lying. So I was like, I'm like, if this isn't funny, because I didn't read it beforehand, I'm sorry, no offense. Uh, I, no, of course. I can't really read, you, so I don't like You also like to can't read. ask <laughs> someone like, to do a 120 page script table read and then spend two hours prior to for free yeah. as a favor and then, and then expect them to read it for two hours prior. It's not gonna happen. So no, we don't, agree. we're not expecting that. We're just hoping that when it comes, <gasps> there was something so funny you did, I'm dying to tell you. What? There was a line where it was like, um, all right, see ya, toots. And you said, see ya. And then I think you thought toots was like another way to say goodbye. Oh. And then you were like, toots. And <laughs> <laughs> I definitely did that. I thought like toodaloo. Toot too. Oh, and you were like so toots. Dumb. And it was like, Is see it, ya toots. Can't read. That's the problem. Was, I can't no, read. No, you. It's That's funny that so I start funny. with that because you, I mean, everybody was like, well, who, what and who and how? You fucking murdered It was it. so fun. And it was, I was just, I want to let you know, it was so fucking funny. Like start to finish. So fucking funny, so entertaining. I almost cried at one point. Like it was, it got, it got so emotional. I was like, and Fahim was such a fucking Fahim man. War kill. God, he was so fucking good. This he has killed. to get made. This must get made. Jessica Kirsten, you had read. Everybody. It was like, I'm like, it was an insane cast. It was fucking everyone who read was so good. A couple weeks ago. Yeah, weeks um, ago so my writing in... partner and I, I mean, again, I don't know. We're allowed to talk about whatever we want because it doesn't exist. But then it's also like in Jewish, the words like Kanahara, like, are you putting a bad vibe on something by talking too much about it before it exists? Like Jews don't buy babies presents before they're born because they think oh. it's bad. Like it's very, we're very witchy people where okay. it's like, eh, don't get a gift. We don't know. God forbid what's going to happen. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you bought it a dress with two arms. It has one arm. Like, what yeah, do okay, we... This yeah, is yeah. Well, I don't think in, they make dresses with one well, arm. Well, that's, that's right. So you just I mean, maybe you put yeah, a pin. Yeah, yeah. You put a pin. <laughs> you just but, put a tiny little pin on it. But... <laughs> you buy a pin after. <laughs> you just buy it. You buy a separate pin. But I, I thought... But I think... I look at it like manifesting it by okay, like... Okay, yes. So that's how I'm looking at it. So I probably... I'm not going to talk too much about the plot. No, no, no. no. We don't have a plot um, at all. But yeah, so my writing partner and I wrote this uh, musical romantic comedy mm-hmm. feature starring mm-hmm. me and all my madness. And mm-hmm. then um, we did a table read the other day and Steph came in to play my best friend. Mm-hmm. And it's going to be hard for anybody to think of anybody else as that part now because... Oh, well, good. Yeah, no well, shit. Well, guess what? Also, the best friend was most certainly a flaming lesbian, which I, I get cast quite a bit. And do I have a problem with it? No. No. No, I don't. I'm, I'm don't. like, I know what I read. <laughs> I, I know what I give off. I, I'm looking at it right now. I see it. I, I get it. I know. Um, and I don't have a problem with that because men are still fucking me. Um, <laughs> I have to always remind people, I'm still having sex. I think my ex is still creeping on me. So I have to remind him that he's a disgusting blob and I'm getting lots of sex. And um, I know you're going to like talk about this at another time in your life. But like from what I hear when I sat down, <laughs> it's a lot of sex. Look, I had a lot of sex this week. And I will say, Hi, so I, I, my dog. Here, yeah, she's just screaming. Hi, Susan. Hi, Susan. There's nobody or anything <laughs> under the table. Also, the fact that your dog's name is Susan makes me seem crazy because then it makes it seem like I think there's a person under yes, the table. Yeah, well, there, but there could be a little tiny person named Susan under there. That'd just be one small pin. Okay, a small pin. Um, you mentioned that you have a boyfriend on the way in. I was going to ask you, like, who's this? And then you said they're also commercial auditioning as well. I'm like, you got yourself a bit of an actor. Got yeah. myself a bit of an actor. I have a boyfriend. His name is Joe. He is. When my parents always ask about him, and they're like, "How's Joe? What's going on?" Although they sound more like, how's Joe? What's going on? That's my dad. Um, I always say that he's a picnic person and I don't exactly know what it means, but it's like, he's like the, 
the incarnate he's like the human incarnation of a picnic he's like chill and he's a good time and he always wants to go he like the other day he was like let's ride the train at travel town babies do the children do that That's so we really got on the train at travel town and then that night i was like oh what should we have for dinner he's like should we make pizza i'm like i don't know what's going on make this is like pizza? a it's like a pinterest relationship oh, and I it's like just like it. but it, it's so different for me because i'm just used to like heavy energy mm-hmm. men or vampire really vampire energy men mm-hmm. and he's more just like on the level and really funny and really smart and really talented and a great actor and oh, a so good nice. dude i like this yeah it gives like, me hope it's a little confusing how even we are with each other mm-hmm. because i'm so used to dysfunction that it's like a genuinely hard to get used to and i think a lot of people in relationships yeah, yeah, yeah. are fully addicted to like it's got to be fiery. It's got to be passionate, which by the way, like it is, but I'm saying yeah. it's like on a day to day, it's just like really nice. That's nice. And I'm like genuinely not used to that. Do you live together? No, not yet. Mm-hmm. But we're like, it looks like we're in that realm. You're it looks like close? we're in that okay. direction. Okay. okay. He has um, a pit bull, a three-year-old pit bull named Harry, uh, who I want to freaking eat his silken pink ears. And uh, I have a tiny 10 pound Chihuahua mix named Glenn. Glenn yeah. and Harry, I'm going to be sick. And Susan? Do they all hang out? Yes, of course, of course. <laughs> but Glenn, he's too nice, too small. Harry, too big, too nice. Okay. And um, we're like all four at the house all the time. It's just They're like... all hanging out. That's like huge. Fucking, Having the huge. dogs... We had to get... Oh. Listen... We had to get a trainer at first. Like, yes. it wasn't it. Yeah, and yeah, for the yeah. first, like, year of our relationship, we weren't even really sleeping in each other's places because he couldn't leave the yep. dog home. I couldn't leave the dog home. Mm-hmm. The dogs weren't great at each other's places. Of course, not in, surpri- in a surprise yes. to no one. The small one's trying to kill the big one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But after all that, it's like, it's, it's like on lock now. It's, everything's coasty. I love this. Smooth sails. I'm also glad you brought up the dog thing. Okay. There's a man that I'm talking to. There's a couple of men I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. he's, he's got a bit of a Rolodex now. There's one guy I'm talking to, <laughs> and he always invites me over. And I'm like, how many times does it tell you? I will not be sitting at your house. I have a dog. When people have a dog, they don't leave the dog overnight. No. Uh, of course she's going to sleep. I used to date a guy that fucking left the dog overnight. No. And I was like, you you are a sick person. No, you're sick. You, you, you're need, to be, sick. you need to be hospitalized. I agree. I, the, dog, I, the dog will not be alone overnight. It's, I, I get it. It's not a kid. It's going to fucking sleep. Every time he invites me over, I just send a photo of Susan. I go, what do you think my answer's going to be? No. Why can't he sleep by you? You're not there he yet. Can, okay. I don't want, no, no, no. We and we've been like on and off for a bit, so it's like whatever. But I'm like, uh, he has his roommates. I don't want to be there with the roommates. No, I'm too old. No. I peeked in the shower, moldy. Ugh, I can't be in there anymore. No. I always peek in the shower. Um, but I will say, so I mentioned this hot pilot that I have sex with on here quite a bit. Um, and hot pilot, so he flies in and out uh, occasionally because he always oh, lives in LAX. So last night he texted me at like nine o'clock and he's like. Are you in LA? I, went, I certainly am. He's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm about to go up at the comedy store. And he goes, all right, I'm coming. And I was like, okay. Because I went on a date with a, a guy who works at the comedy store, which I probably shouldn't say this, but I will, whatever. We've been flirting for like five months. Finally going on a date. Which I was in the last podcast. Awkward hug goodbye. No case on hugging. I'm like, I, I, I don't have time for this. I'm not, can, can, hugging a friend. I, 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 I. So I wanted him to see the hot pilot last night. The one night he doesn't fucking work. So hot pilot comes to the show. I fucking kill. He was like, he was like so turned on by it. So I'm like showing him around everybody. This like hot man with me, and no one was there to see him. I was like, hello, look at this guy that I'm. I was like, that's that guy. I'm like, yes. And then I ended up we ended up fucking because again I think I might have something right now. So I t- <laughs> I dropped him back at his hotel and he's like, do you want to come inside? I'm like, no. Again, the dog. We're not we're not leaving the dog. The dog must be. Setting. And the nice thing about both of us having a dog is that if I didn't have a dog and I was dating a guy who was like, I can never sleep at your house because I have a dog, I would probably be like, well, then what? Yeah. What's the next step? I'm in my head a little bit because I accidentally just licked this. It, it gets clean quite, quite frequently. You should be fine. Okay. I also looked at Mike at the store last night and that's not good. That is and less it, that, uh, good Yeah, that's this. bad. Okay. That's bad. Because yeah. I didn't mean to put my actual raw tongue <laughs> on this popper stopper, I but I did. Be fine. And now I'm like, I taste it a no, little bit. No, you taste okay. nothing. Wash um, it down. Are you a, do you have a, um, a hypochondriac? No, but okay. like I don't normally lick a mic that a lot of people have been speaking. Yeah, I like feel like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not like a germaphobe and have to Purell and all that shit, but I generally, when yeah, I, I don't put like something a lot of people put on their mouth uh-huh. into my own mouth, I think it's a little yeah, bit yeah. of a you, You're allowed to have a, you're you. allowed to question it. Thank yeah, you. yeah, yeah. Um, let's get into body stuff. Oh, we got, oh, you perked up. 
You got some body stuff? What's, what have we got here? <laughs> Nightmare. Let's hear it. Get well, into no, it. Well, no, but what's, what's the specific question of body stuff? Like any, like, surgeries, ailments, anything, okay. like, anything. Well, God, like everyone's dicks are going to get so hard when they hear about this. Look. This you is gonna Joe's going to be probably the rock hard, solid. This is going to be the hardest dicks in all of Los Angeles. I somehow get so, dicks hard after what I say, which is alarming. <laughs> okay, fine. So <laughs> I recently got a steroid shot under my right foot because I couldn't put my foot down on the ground. That's casual. Like, you don't Just, think about your feet. When you're fine, you don't think about your feet. But when they hurt, it's like... What the so fuck? I've had orthotics in my shoes since I was like 20-something. I was doing a play in New York... And my back hurt so bad. My back and my neck, my pussy, my crack, it hurt yes. so bad. <laughs> that's the right order. And yeah. um, the song lyrics do it so it doesn't rhyme, right? Yeah, good, yeah, good, yeah, good. yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, <laughs> I, my, everything was hurting. And I went to a doctor and he was like, I think you should go to a podiatrist. I went to a podiatrist. Turns out I have pronated feet. So I have fine arches. My feet aren't flat, but, but they kind of go. They're not duck footed. They and they're, I mean, they're not in. duck footed and they're not pigeon toed. They go like that. Okay. And so they need to be lifted to be straight. Okay. And so I have these orthotics in my shoes forever. Very limiting as to what shoes I could wear because you're shoving a whole fucking thing I was going to say, this, do you have the same ones you rotate or do you have like a bunch of different... I have an old pair that are thinner because they're supposed to go in dress shoes. Okay. And then I have this new pair that are like, you're, you fully rip out the insole of like the running shoe or the Nike yeah. or the Jordan or whatever and you put this in. Okay. So... I've had the insoles for years, got new ones a couple years ago. Everything's okay. I also have, I, I always get embarrassed talking about bunions because they sound so gross. Everybody's bunions. But they're not callous. They're not, they're bone. Yeah. But everyone's like, like, I feel like saying you have a bunion is like you're 95 years old. But anyway, so I have yeah. bunions on both feet yeah. and heel spurs and, oh, and the pronation. I can't, I got to a place in the last few months, I can't walk around, I can't walk from the couch to the bathroom without shoes on. Oh my God. Yeah, so I need like, I've got like Hoka recovery sandals, I have like five pairs of Crocs all over the house. Oh my God. And they're just everywhere. I can't. You can't walk barefoot ever, like on the beach? The beach I think would be okay, because okay, there's like same. cushion yeah, under yeah, yeah. there. Um, luckily, all I have about the beach are complaints. So yeah, yeah. I'm not <laughs> trying, trying to run. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying, yeah, to, I'm trying yeah, yeah. to walk, not run. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So my feet are just like have gotten to a point. And I don't know what's going on. And so when I went to the doctor like a month ago, he was like, well, you are a candidate for bunion surgery on both feet. Yeah. But if you don't do that, let's try and put that off. He's like, I always say surgery is the very, very last thing. Mm -hmm. If you just keep putting it off, you can do like the cortisone steroid shots until you can't and you need surgery. And so I got this shot. Okay. And then I was calling every day after I got the shot because I was like. Am I supposed to be in excruciate? Like I can't. I can't and he move. goes, "It's that's very rare, but it is a side effect." It's, he said, "It's so rare, I don't, I didn't mention it." But oh, yes, of course. basically, <laughs> you have a, right. He goes, basically, there's like a tendon there, and I've stuck a needle in it, and so obviously that's gonna yeah. be a little painful. But I couldn't walk at all for three days, oh and my now, God. and now though, walking on fine. sunshine. Now it's fine. It worked. Fine. Worked. Because I, I hear bunion worked. surgery is very. So do I. Heart. So it's, do I. it's a big, I, I don't know if I've gotten it, and it's very Recently? invasive. Like a couple of years ago. Oh, it makes me want to yeah. be sick. No. Oh, yeah. it makes, me, it makes, no, my, like, it makes not... my shoulders feel like there's tiny people walking in there, oh. inside there, like like stretching me oh, out. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's like, I, got, I can't. <laughs> it's, I mean, all surgery, have you had a, a surgery? Have you ever gone to the knife? Um, no, but I have um, uh, been, p like, put to sleep. Because okay. I had like my eggs, I froze my eggs and stuff. You froze your so eggs. I like was put to sleep and woke back up, but I never like, you know. How thank many? God. When did you do the egg thing? A long time ago. Oh shit! A long time ago. I did it probably. You did it before everyone was getting oh, into it. Oh yeah, a long okay. time ago. Okay. Like I did it maybe nine or ten years ago. Oh shit! Yeah, and I check on them all the time. I pay. Maybe I pay. You go the, in there. You just take no, a peek you at can't. Them? I wish. I like. I have. Like I have nightmares. I have. I call. Cause I'm a sick person. So I have like a night. I'm like, everything. Okay. No generators down. <laughs> have a good day. Susan on oh, no, a different Susan. Yeah. 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 Um, a lot of I don't call Well, I don't call yeah, the dog. Yeah, yeah. She doesn't pick up. I mean, I do call her. She doesn't she, pick up. Uh, she answers. She comes over. She brings a bone. She yeah, doesn't pick she up was, the phone. Yeah, yeah. You understand. She's like, the eggs are fine. So I used to have nightmares that a generator went out and the frozen eggs, Alex macked in a liquid pool under the door. Oh, um, okay. That's a very specific, very over the top. Like everyone's eggs could yield together when under. They would have to be because my eggs, excuse me, 
you could fit 2,000 of them on your pinky nail. So they're not, you wouldn't, they'd have they're to be small? all big. Oh, yeah. They're tiny. I they're don't like know why they're big. Mo- they're like tiny molecules. I don't know. I'm thinking they're swimming around like a full, no, because, like an avocado pit. Just well, huge Well, we eggs. pass eggs. Like we, like your body, get, you know, when you're ovulating and then you're. Yeah, ovulating. mine are yeah. just huge yeah. avocado eggs. You <laughs> give birth. Yeah, 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 you yeah, yeah. lay eggs. Wait, I thought everyone's period was Everybody, giant eggs. Am I a, the only one that's got bloody <laughs> avocado pit eggs coming out? Oh, no. That's why I do this podcast. I'm very unwell. Something's wrong with me. Um, that Okay, that I feel like back in the day, I should have thought about more about this. Because now I'm like... It's hard as you get older, so... Yeah, I'm like, I can't now. Well, you could. I could, but the eggs are... Well, oh. the eggs are fine if you get them. That's the thing. It's like I know people who are like in that range. It's harder. You get The, the older you get, the fewer you get okay. in theory, which mm-hmm. is why, obviously, as you get older, the harder it is to get pregnant because you have less eggs left. Yeah, you yeah, are yeah, passing yeah, yeah. less eggs every cycle and yeah. all of that. But I, um, I wanted... I'm in this weird place now very sort of intimate conversation to have on a podcast, but um, I don't know if I passed, like I was, when I tell you I was dying to have a baby, I don't know how else to explain it. Like you, I was, it it can make me teary quick. I was dying, genuinely felt like my soul was dying to because I wasn't having a baby. Yeah. And I do not feel that way anymore. And wow. I think my physiology passed it. Uh-huh. Cause, but I started young. I started looking up egg freezing when I was 25. Oh, shit. And it was $100,000. And by the time Good I did it, God. when I was like early 30s or 32, by the time I did it, um, it was like 12 grand. And now oh, I'm sure shit. it's even cheaper. It's like 10 grand. Okay. But okay. all of that to say... That young is when I was like, oh my God, if I don't like, if I keep going the way I'm going, which is like dating super charismatic Peter Pan complex men in mm-hmm. comedy who will never yeah. commit, yeah. then <laughs> I'm going to keep doing that because mm-hmm. that's what's comfortable for me because I have my own intimacy issues and my own connection mm-hmm. issues, fear of commitment. So if I just keep doing this, I had a shrink tell me once that uh, the men I choose is indicative of my own commitment phobia because mm-hmm. i would be like kicking a can and like i picked another guy who's not ready and he's like you know you're picking people that aren't yeah, ready yeah, 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 and yeah. it's because you're not ready yeah. and i was like yeah yeah <laughs> single yike just yeah, yeah, one yeah. singular one yike. yike that's the it's the yeah. worst that's the worst one yeah that's not the, even the s at the end just a yike that's well, scary. Then it could be any yeah. of them this yeah, is yeah, the yeah, one yeah. single yike so um is yeah it, isn't it interesting to get to that point they're like i i think i literally just my sister just got pregnant Yes, my sister, mm. I can talk about this now. My sister's pregnant. I was waiting to announce it. She's 30. How old is she? Yes. She's 35. Hell yeah. Yeah, she's 35. She's four months along now. It's going to be a little baby girl. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to be an aunt. Um, but the second she was like, I'm pregnant, I'm like, I'm, I'm good. Yeah. I'm like, I can be a fun aunt. I, I, I think right. I'm like, and I, I don't know, before I always kind of like felt like I wanted them. My parents would always, you know, I don't know if your parents are really very pressury about it. They're not pressury about it at all, but they lo- they drop it. Like my dad mm-hmm. the other day out of nowhere never asked me shit like this. He's like, let me ask you a personal question. What are you doing with those eggs? And you're like this. <laughs> what am I doing with those eggs? He said. And I was like, dad, Okay. I'm but calling. He, but I'm yeah. checking up on them. I mean, I, I call. I make sure they're, they're not Alex macking under yeah. a door. And no generators <laughs> fail. They're, they're, right now, I'm just paying thousands of dollars yeah, to yeah. store them and to keep them. Be happy they exist. Fresh, but anyway, yes. you had this feeling that you were going to be. You're like, fuck it, fun aunt. Let's go. Fun aunt. And I'm like, I've, I've really accepted that. I'm glad that we're at a place in this day and age where that is acceptable. Because this was us 20 years ago. Of we would be like, what the fuck's wrong with you, yeah. bitch? Mm-hmm. But now I'm like, I feel like I'm. I'm feel. I had a big talk with my therapist yesterday about it too, being like. Because she's mentioning she doesn't want to freeze her eggs. I'm like, no, I'm good. I'm like, I feel like I passed yeah, it. I know. And I'm like, it's such a comfy place to it sit in. It is. I feel fucking if, good. Because I tell you to my female friends who aren't sure, I'm telling you it's worth it mm-hmm. just to know they're there. Because yeah. also, even having them there isn't a guarantee. Mm-hmm. And even 10 years ago when I froze them, or eight years ago when I froze them, uh, even then, I feel like people were having kids even younger, maybe 36, 37. Mm-hmm. Now, all my girlfriends are going way into their 40s oh, and having yeah. kids. Oh, and yeah. so to have the eggs, if you yeah. like, might feel a type of way, mm-hmm. not that 10 grand is nothing. It's a lot of fucking money. Yeah. But it's almost like 
it's manageable, it's yeah. doable, it's loanable, it's yes. it's a big thing. But if you are sure you don't, that's so comfy, fucking great. Yeah, no, it's, it's, yeah. A, it's a good feeling. And I'm like, also like, it's again, I always, I'm like, if I had a partner, I'm sure I my mind might be a bit different. But now I'm like, I can't. I can barely raise my dog alone. Look at her. She can't even get, she's stuck under the table. She's an idiot. So it's like, I can't even, it's like, what it's a lot. What kind of friend is even Susan? What kind of? What kind of friend? Yeah. Golden Retriever. What do you mean? <gasps> she is? She's an English cream Golden Retriever. I know I can't talk about it in Los Angeles because people get very upset with me. Because of course I didn't fucking foster a golden retriever. There is a, a golden retriever foster site, Southern California Golden Retrievers, I believe it's called. And I look at it all the time. I look at it too much. But it's always like a big boy with a big head, and I can't have the I can't have the dog penis. Oh, interesting. I, it's it's it, like have you ever seen one fully come out? Oh yeah, of course. L- not the tip, not the, not, the, not the lipstick. Oh, that's that's not a, that's not the penis. That's the head. I'm talking foot no. long, foot long sub. I, I, when they come out and they sometimes they can't go back in because they're so hard and they have a long. It takes hours to go back in. That's doing I can't. The, that's doing the tiny it, people. It's, on it's my doing shoulder. it to me too. It's not good. It's bad. But even Anyways, if they don't, don't have balls, it comes out. It's coming out and it's not going back in. <laughs> and there was a night that I had to deal with it with another dog. And I'm like, I just I, I, she has her big fat vagina. It's almost like a penis. It's so big. It's so big. Yeah, she's well. a big pussy. She's a big butthole. Actually, I, I talked about Susan's labia and somebody came up to me yesterday at the comedy store saying. Uh, they f- they realized what their dog also has a hooded labia because um, I helped. Uh, I'm a doctor. Oh, you're hey, a doctor. Hey, this podcast is helping people. <laughs> hey. Oh, speaking of helping people, I want to shout this out. I feel really bad. So I don't know if you know, you probably don't know this. No one here probably knows her. Her name is Sue Johansson. She was a very well-known um, uh, woman in Canada who would openly talk about sex stuff. So it was called the Sunday Night Sex Show with Sue. It'd come on after like whatever shows were like we watch as kids. You know what I'm talking about, Aaron? She just died. She died today, and I died at 93, uh, peacefully in her bed. She's a huge, yeah, if you look her up, she was, like, really open. She would talk about, like, squirting and how to put condoms on, and, like, she was amazing. For, especially in Canada, for this to be fucking aired at all, it was incredible. So I just want to shout her out. If you've never seen herself, watch her stuff on YouTube. She was incredible. She was like, yes. Mm. And it also was hilarious watching, like, a six-year-old woman explain, like, listen, you want to squirt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You keep like- fucking sucking his dick until he comes. Like, she was, it was insane. That was her voice. No, but I think she was on. She's like very gentle and nice. Like, look up Sue Johansson right now if you're listening, because it's uh, she was great. We had Dr. Ruth in this country. And how old? Yeah. Was same she, thing. Same, okay. Old, old, old. And she was Dr. Ruth Westheimer. And no, she was yeah. No, I think full accent. I, I, I don't know if she was. I'm gonna misquote this, so why don't I bite my tongue on it? Can you find out if Dr. What country Dr. Ruth is from and? That's German. what I thought. And what year she came here and why? She came here to talk about fucking sex. She came here to really open up. Doctor yes. was 95. She's still going. She's 95. And when I was a kid, she was like 70. Yeah. They, she, they, <laughs> and she was just yes. talking about sex and talking about everything openly. Yes. As like a fully old woman. Yes. yes. And it's really, uh, thank God for these old women who just yapped about this kind of stuff. Because yes. we really needed that. Because I'm like, I'm sure your parents have talked about that stuff growing up. Like, sex stuff and all that shit like our also our like really... our sex ed was so bad so bad but my parents didn't really talk about it but they also didn't really not like i don't remember being uncomfortable or scared to talk about it or embarrassed what is that one hair <laughs> one hair is, is just driving you insane well it's a gray there it is i think it's down it's fine look at my screen look at my screen is no, it it's, down no it's still up it's still you're up. joking it's <laughs> oh it must be on the wrong side it's, it's on the wrong side yeah Fix yeah it. switchy okay okay the right there we go there we go there we go it's still up. She, was, but get it's it. still up. It's, I don't know how much more down I can get it. It's like, okay, that's that there we go. Good. That's this. It's down. Oh, it's down. But why do the white ones go wiry? What's their fucking I don't problem? Know. Like you're still in my head. Why are you going a fucking? Just be the same consistency. Go the, as the same fucking way. Other ones. Oh, I have one that sticks straight out of so, my head. I'm like, what is that? It's like, like a that's unicorn. It. It's, it's right out of the fucking middle of my head. I'm like, can we stop? Oh my god, I pulled out a white mole hair the other day. Very upsetting. Oh, it's upsetting. Oh, Why, God. Why, you liked it better when your mole hairs were nice and dark? Yes, oh, pitch black, so I felt I young. I that's, how I, that's how yeah. I felt younger now. So if now. I'm going to be a disgusting witch, at least I'm a, a disgusting yes. witch that's youthful. Yeah, same. I have, have a couple chins. Have you seen people couple... with those mole hairs that come like really long? I'm like, how do you not notice that? Like, I've seen one oh, on they, the subway once. But don't you feel like they just don't care? Maybe ew, it's ew, like ew, magic. Ew, that's making everything. Someone keeps grossing me out today. Maybe it is like magic. You're really sick. My chins are lucky. My mom say they're lucky. They're not lucky. They're disgusting. We do that a lot in culture where we turn really bad news into like if a bird takes a dump in your fucking yeah. eye, it's like you're going to have a great day. No, no I'm have pink eye first. Yeah, it's also I have fucking water ass all yeah, over me. Yeah, so now I'm going to have conjunctivitis for yeah. a week. I'm going to need to get fucking <laughs> antibiotics. But when that's all done, it's that's good all done. luck. Worst story you've ever heard.
Let's, I want to ask some of my questions. Please. Okay, questions. What is the worst body thing you've ever heard? I've ever heard? Heard, read, seen, something that's haunted you, like the Alex Mack congealing underneath the thing. It could be any, anything like that. Okay, good. I have the weirdest one, but the... There she okay. goes. No, this is the problem. This is the problem. This is the problem. This is the problem. Susan, you're fucking with my shot, and as we've figured out, my shot is shot. gorgeous. There, light on there. there light on if there. it wasn't for you, Susan, this would look great. Yeah, there she is. There she is. She's, she stopped. I love Susan. Look, She's I love actually, her so much. I'm obsessed with her. I had to bring her around with me. Okay, what's the weirdest one? Um, I'm remembering. Oh, the weird. Oh, I have oh, two. I you, yeah, this. I want to hear both. So one is terrifying. One is cool. Okay. Okay. So the terrifying one is I used to be very close friends with this girl, Amanda, who was a nurse. And when she was in the ER, a gal, and I'm sure you've heard this, but a gal came with a mascara wand stuck in her eye because she was driving and she stopped short. Oh! And she had, it was just in her eye. And she, so now I don't put mascara on while I'm driving because oh. I fucking used to. Oh, you used to do that? Well, not like 75 on the freeway, but like I'm at a red light and I'm there for three minutes and I'm never... T we don't have green turn signals in this fucking city, so I'll yeah, be there yeah, for an yeah. hour. Yeah. So I feel like I have the time to do a quick wash of a lash, oh, wand in the eye. My God. And you imagine you just stop short and like your fucking thing hits uh, it. And then you're just, also like the end of it, so the big, the big, the big fucking chunk. And, and then you have like, to like hold it. You have to hold it. That's, no, that's, that's the problem. That's it. I, I, I don't ever, I always want to see people doing full makeup with the car. I'm like, do it at home. Do it at home. What, what are we yeah. doing? You're in a rush that much? Get up a couple minutes earlier. Yeah. It takes I had you. Takes a couple minutes. Six minutes. It's yeah. actually six minutes to make up. I don't know what, what people are doing for so long. It's mucking around there. That's horrendous. Did they get it out? Was it her eye okay after? Yes, everything was okay. fine. Okay. But it was like fucked up and like it was going to be infected and they had to like put a patch on it. Oh, a patch. I am, that's my biggest phobia is eye stuff and I am so fucking no, freaked out really anything <laughs> so, okay, okay let's move Ugh. please god okay i have had so many chills no in this i'm event. sorry this is what this podcast is what did you want from me I, this exactly Could you imagine i had a podcast all about like just really sweet stories no like, i would want to tell me your oh my god tell me the lullaby. last time you guys picnicked I'd be yeah. like, who the fuck <laughs> took where's Steph? <laughs> so the um other oh. one i'm thinking of is actually really wild and there's two one is that a friend of mine so this is a friend of a friend story, but she told me like firsthand and showed me the family holiday cards and stuff. The mom, they had frozen like multiple embryos, the mom and the dad. These are yeah, yeah. Qu quasi famous actors, I'll okay. tell you after. They sold they froze embryos and they put one in and it took and they froze other embryo you know, and then like seven years later, from the frozen embryos, they put another one in and they think that they're twins. <gasps> Oh, that's crazy. The seven-year-old and the baby. Oh, my God. Because they were full embryos. But then my follow-up question was like, how? Because wouldn't twins be in one sack yeah. and one fertilized embryo? So like, I don't quite understand, but the family was like quasi-convinced that because of all the IVF and all the shots and all the this. I mean, people listening might just be like, your guest is a fucking idiot. Those people just thought they, the baby just looks like the seven-year-old, but they genuinely thought they were twins. And as they've grown up, it's like uncanny. Oh, still? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because now the, now the seven-year-old is probably 12 and the baby's five or six. And it's like, as they've watched them in the steps, they said it's uncanny. Like, that's crazy. So they look exactly the same. It's identical. Yeah. Identical identical twins but it wouldn't be possible because no. right because they would be in the same sack yeah, yeah. Huh. but they were like it's but they were like was there it was there a chance that like these these eggs split and each were fertilized but no oh, because yeah, then yeah. if each was fertilized by the man yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. know, but it was some siblings there's do some look wild IVF really shit alike. going on. Some siblings look look crazy alike. I have a I have a one more. Yes, yeah, so but please. this is um this was the one I was actually going to tell because this one's actually just facts and not just a family being like, whoa, this IVF thing is wild and <laughs> um whatever. But a friend of mine has a baby and a twin. She has a twin sister, and her twin sister can get pregnant, and so her they her twin sister they, her egg was fertilized by her husband's sperm and they implanted because she couldn't get pregnant for like a decade 
She, they tried yeah, and tried yeah, yeah. and tried and tried and tried. So they put her tw- identical twin sister's egg and sperm in my friend. Yes. And so she carried for them. Uh-huh. And then a month later, they got naturally pregnant. No. And so now they were pregnant at the same time, the identical twin girls, and the babies will be one month apart. Oh, my God. So the babies are going to be twins and grow up as twins, but they're not twins. They are fully two separate, two separate babies. Holy and each shit. identical twin carried them. But n- Oh, really? What's that? Oh, baby supernatural. That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh my God. That's mm-hmm. wild. Did the other twin already have a baby of her own too? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So she had a baby. So they knew she could carry. They knew yeah, that yeah, the whole yeah. thing was going to be no problem. Wow. Wild. That's insane. Wild. I, that's crazy. Would you carry for somebody? I don't know if I carry for my fucking self at this point. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, when I was younger, it depends. Like if I had. I don't have a sister, so it's hard to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if I had like a super close girlfriend who was like dying, I'm a weird person to ask because I have such a particular life that that that, that doesn't work for. Like if I'm carrying for someone, I have to like not work for a year. Yeah, Whereas yeah, yeah. other people, not, I'm, not, I'm not prioritizing the importance of anyone's job over anyone no, else. No, no. But as far as physical, visual, yes. what we're seeing, I pretty much can't work if I'm pregnant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and so it would that for that reason it would be much harder. I would be like, do you want to ask your friend who like has a normal stable yeah, job yeah, 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 yeah. where they could like have maternity leave and come and go mm-hmm. and be in the office for eight of those months and then in the last few weeks take off. Yeah. But in theory, if I didn't have to get into the logistics of it, it would be it would have to be a very special person. Yeah. I think the only person in this planet I love enough to do that for my mother and she's been in menopause for 80 yeah, years yeah. so, so I, <laughs> I think you're think, good yeah i think yeah, i'm yeah, okay yeah. would you yeah i offered to care for my sister because she her um mentions for her uh iud roamed around her body and it went to her intestines and they were like you probably won't have a baby and she's like sorry like they thought it punctured shit in there it was really fucked up yeah so I, she like called me in fucking hysterics and she's like i don't think i have a baby and i was like i'll do it I, i'm like i because i could do it just doing stand-up I'll be a big fucking pregnant bitch up there. Like, incredible. Oh, yeah. I'm like, oh, me not drinking for nine months? Please, God, let me lay <laughs> off the sauce for a bit. Um, i do it for the bit. No, I, I, would, I had 100% care for my sister. A, a to sober up and B, because I'm like, because it, it, for me, the, having the baby, it's not the going through it. It's the after being like, oh, now, now what do life, I do with it? Now I do with it. I'm yeah. like, now my life is completely not where, where it is, what I'm doing, but I'm like, if I can just carry the baby. But she's pregnant now, thank God. So there, there was a moment there where was she like... Um, that's incredible. Did they get the like, IUD out? Yeah. Surgery, surgically, they like, take it out. That's a fucked up. It's fucked back. Yeah. I would never get one now because that ruined, my, the, ruined me on it. But I was like, I, w- I think I... Uh, yeah, but now she's pregnant, thank God. Because I was like, I really promised the... I, and I still would... Uh, I'm also like, am I too old to do this now anyways? But I'm like, I still would have done it for her. I would have been here pregnant right now. No, you wouldn't be too old because it wouldn't be your egg. You would yeah, just be carrying. Right. Yeah, and yeah, carrying yeah. is fine. I think what happens is as our bodies get older, we can't, you can't make the eggs or do the, you know. Yeah, she'd be like, you're doing too many act outs. Can you please sit down on stage for now? I'm, I'm, no. scared, I'm scared of the baby. That's so, that's so funny. <laughs> um, okay, we got a couple more questions here. Tell so me. Because I know you have an audition. Oh, it's so Must vi- be nice. And so, yeah, it's a big deal. <laughs> big commercial audition. Huge. Oh, my God. Ah! Oh, my God, my finger's stuck. Oh, God. Oh, is boy. your finger okay? No, it's stuck. In here. Hold oh, on. Boy. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, is it killing? Yeah, it is. Wait, wait, killing. so don't pull. We gotta pull. get it out. We gotta get it out. But here, but, but how, I think this needs to be. Aaron, how do we get it? No, that's going the wrong way. Wrong way, wrong way. What's the right way? I, we gotta get this. My finger must come out. Oh, so very. <laughs> it had to happen on Steph Infection. I just can't. <laughs> <laughs> we're good, we're good. It's a little squish. We're fine. She goes, my finger has to come out. It's fine. Yeah, I was like, I was like, in butt. Screw that on the table first. I was like, it must come out. I will, I'm like, it's on camera. I'm like, my finger must, my finger must come out. My finger, <laughs> you running over me just going do do do. My finger must come out. No, it's uh, it was on the good part. It just missed the nail. It was just on the bottom part. Owie. Yeah. No, no, it didn't. Feel me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that is so hard because oh my god, we're such was, different people. That was hilarious. Like, oh, I mean, good. Yeah. Good. And I just 
Oh, there we go. That. There we go. I, love the, uh, I mean, that's the clip. My that's finger the, must hey, that's come the clip. <laughs> my finger. <laughs> how, how does it feel? My finger must come out. <laughs> if, if I could say one thing right now is that it must not be where it is anymore. It is throbbing in a way. <laughs> I will say this. I'm acting really tough right now. If I was at home alone right now, would be sobbing. If I was alone in my own apartment, I would be crying in a way that I just wouldn't be normal. Can't believe that, like, I, okay, come back on the damn mic for God's sakes. It is my finger is most certainly crushed. If, let's get, no, it, it's no, no, it's not. It's not. It's no, no, it's very no, sorry. You need to get it's ice fine, right it's now. fine. It's fine. I'm, I'm stopping this right now for two seconds. <laughs> no, 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 we're fine. Here, I'll listen to me for you. five seconds. Icing it the second it happens is the most no, important thing ice. you could do. I'm icing it. She's getting Thank ice, you. and that's absolutely the move. Thank you, everybody. Oh Thank you, everybody. <laughs> See, this oh is this is God. why I do this podcast. Fucking stupid shit happens to me all the fucking time. Like, <laughs> how, how? My finger must come out. If, if I would say one thing. <laughs> Instead of like, get my fucking finger out. Fuck, fuck, fuck. It's like, my finger must come out. My finger must I think, well, come it's, out. It's definitely a funnier approach to do it like so that. when you're. So where, where it is now is where I wouldn't like for it to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where it is so now, sort of, don't love it. Don't love that. You're still on the hair. I can't believe I have one gray. I mean, I have a hundred grays, but only one sticking out. I used to pull mine out, the grays. Oh, me too. That's probably why they're half length. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they're, they're growbacks. Yeah, yeah, they're growbacks. I hate the growbacks. I hate being a woman. God damn mm. it. Can you imagine? Yeah, but it's better. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. I mean, we're, like, allowed to talk about our feelings. It's yeah. Like so well, Hot better. Pilot that I yes. keep mentioning, he, I was, I thought he was so attractive because he saw him pepper, and then he came last night, and I was like, he died what? it. I go, I go, what happened to the head? He's like, what? I go, what do you mean, what? Uh, I, uh, hello, <laughs> I've got a couple peepers. I, some, <laughs> something's up. He's like, yeah, I died it. And I was like, Why? And I was like, I wasn't being rude, but I was like, it looked fucking good. Yeah, hell yeah. I like salt and pepper. Me too, me too. Like Do salt you like pepper. chest hair? Yes. Me too. I love chest hair. And boys that like shave their chest or Ew, wax their... what is that? Yeah, just give me like your fucking I like, chest I, hair. I, I love too. like caressing my, it. Oh too. my God. My it. it's, a, it's a turn on for me. A hundred percent. No, I love chest hair. I'm like... All right, okay, we're both just about coming in our say, seats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So tell me what else, Finger Michael. Must I, she's getting us, uh, thank God. <laughs> it's, honestly, that's going to be a, a hilarious clip. Fail. That's a, put that on fail army. Um, now my lip touched that. So we're all, now we both, we both. <laughs> we're on the same page. Wait, you know what? Let me put my, let me stick my finger yeah, in the, your finger. Let me stick my finger in this yeah, mic no, stand. Yeah. So I, it's like, we need to be on the exact same page. <laughs> my God, you're going to go to the Verizon Oh, am I allowed to say That's oh, okay. I, Probably not. But by the time this comes out. Oh, it's way past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You'll be good. You'll be good. I haven't gotten out to audition in a long time. I dropped my commercial agent and now it's because the last thing he sent me out for was like, um, looking for an obese woman. And I was like, I can't do this anymore. I, 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 he's like, do you want to work or not? I'm like, What's that's, so funny about obese is you're not, you're, I mean, God bless, but I love, I, I will love all bodies. But yeah, I I'm not even, saying, but yeah, I'm like, but I wouldn't say you're even plus no, size. No, I'm, I'm also, I'm also like, I wouldn't even say you're plus I, size. I wouldn't say it's plus <laughs> size. I was like, are I taking away, again, well, you're like, I feel like I'd be taking away from women who are plus size who I should be in these course, commercials. Of course. So also, I'm going to go there and sit there with women who are overweight. I'm sitting there like, like what the fuck is this? Why 100%. Is here? Woman's desperate. Um, I better not be plus size. I've been, nothing wrong with being plus size. That, that sounded really bad. That's kind of, someone's got that part. I better not be plus size. Well, no, I've been doing this fucking diet for, I'm on my last week, eighth week of this like hardcore diet plan. Stasia's school of thought. She's done, have you heard of this? Mm-mm. A lot of comedians do it. It's great. Um, let's get back to the body questions. Please. We're, we're, we, got, we got six more minutes here. We had a bit of an interruption here. Um, did your parents ever say weird things to you growing up about your body? I was super lucky. Am super lucky. My Thank yes, I Thank you, the Meg. Ice queen. Meg, I'm just helping you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. We got. This is the pla- <laughs> this is the place to do it. Oh, um, so stupid. I like the fucking sad tail on the top of your ice. It's, it's very little, yeah. It's, it's, it's very. It's, it's very. <laughs> Susan, I, we're not dealing with this right now. That's enough. Um, I was really lucky. You know, it's funny. My, I put my, I was in a yellow sweatshirt this morning and I put my hair like in a bun and the back of the bun was coming up and my boyfriend was like, um, he was, you look like an actual, like an actual pineapple. And I looked and I, I really did. And yeah. I remembered <laughs> when I was a kid and I put my hair up like that, my dad said, I would say I look like a pineapple. So it reminded me of childhood, but then also he was like, he would call me like pea head or something. But I don't have he a small head. head, but I was just a little kid and I, I just always thought I had a small head, but he was just, it was out of love. Like he was like, you little fucking pea head. Yeah, he yeah, wouldn't yeah. swear at me, but it was like yeah. that cute aggression. Like you look like a little pea head. Uh-huh. And, um, so I always thought I had a small head. I don't. No, but I, oh, I mean, I'm telling you up until a few years ago, like I was thought. being fit for a hat and I was like, 
beware, <laughs> my head's the size of a toddler. And they were like, no, That's normal annoying. size head. And I was like, probably could have gotten to the bottom of that one a little sooner. Yeah, yeah, torturing yeah. myself for 35 years, but here we are. And the other thing is that it wasn't from my parents, but I was at a garage sale when I was a little kid. And um, a woman, I tried on a little shirt, uh, and I was, she had gotten it in uh, Tokyo. I was maybe 10. And so it was like, kind of Japanese inspired like it had like two little knot um closures like up okay. the neck yeah, you know yeah, yeah, yeah 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 and I was about to put it on and the woman yells um do not try that on it'll tear you way too broad it'll tear <laughs> can I tell you something I think I was 45 pounds when that woman said that oh my god I was in I was way prepubescent I was nine or ten I was in probably fourth grade and That'll she shouted tear. it across the garage sale. Do not try that on. You're way too broad. It'll tear. So my whole life. You thought you were broad. thought I was broad. Glow actually taught me a lot of things about myself because uh, you're, you're being measured constantly. Oh, shit. And yeah. I'll say something and like they would just laugh at me. They'd be like, your head's the normal size and you're not broad. And yeah. I was like, oh, I guess that's a fact then. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I have a I measuring guess tape all, I'm yeah, looking I at guess right now. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all the toiling I've done for all these years that's of what size shirt I should get because I'm broad. Mm -hmm. I have swimmers shoulders. You don't have shoulders. You've, I would so, say, so tiny it's, shoulders. It's all not real. Yeah. Nothing is real. Nothing is real. But but luckily those weren't from my parents. Yes, that's good. And I was a kid actor, so we would when I would go on auditions, we would see the other mothers like primp their kids like crazy oh, and like God. putting blush on the boys and tightening and putting up their buttons. And my mom was always like, "Look at these." Like it was. So they weren't like we crazy. were in on. Okay, it. good, no. good, good, good. And if good, I got good. like sauce on my shirt. Cause I would eat my my lunch like on the train. She'd be like, "Oh, tell when you go in, tell them you had the you you got the spaghettios from on the train." And I was like, "Oh." Okay. So I went in and I was like, "I have a stain. I got spaghettios on the train." And they were like, "Cute." Like they love <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, You're yeah. a little kid actor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah. It's little kids that come in like creepy, jumping a yeah. precious like ruffles, and I was just no. like an absolute shit pig. No. <laughs> <laughs> just but I'm sure they fucking thing. liked that better. They did. It's crazy did, going to be. I did quite well as a child. I was, was going to say, you must have fucking mm -hmm. been in, like, oh, so, a kid who has a fucking personality. I crushed. Now, I this crushed like, crazy as a kid. person coming in here. I crushed this. It's a nightmare. I was, I'm so glad you weren't, your parents weren't those no, crazy people. No, they were good. My parents, oh, my dad, would, my mom would say a lot that I was really big boned. I got oh, that a I lot. So who's that helping? Nobody. Because I used to dance. My mom used to teach how to dancing. And then I was just a lot larger than the other girls. And I'd be like, why can't I dance as good? She's like, you're just big boned. I'm like, Hmm? <laughs> was she saying it because I was larger than all the other children? <laughs> no, 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 like, no, no, was she saying no, no, it no. in her intention to be in constructive or just no? Like, no, oh. I think it was mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's that's why mean. I do comedy. Yeah, my mother never loved me. Oh. I just start crying. <laughs> uh -huh. No, it's fine. I've discussed it with my therapist. We're good. Um, let's wrap this up. Like, like it's a really sad ending. I just started sobbing. Look, the finger thing hurt Steph's more than the no love for my mother. Never <laughs> loved her, and we're gonna head out. Um, but thanks for listening to the Steph. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steph this is how it works. Anymore. Her entire right <laughs> hand is broken. I've been Jackie Tone. Have a great rest of your day, gang. Wait, follow oh, you. Up, Where dude? can they follow you for oh, fuck's sake? Oh, my God. I thought you left. No. Because of your hand. <laughs> um, were there any other real pressing ones that you wanted no, to No, that okay, was great. Those were great, great, great. Yes. Um, this was too fun and went too quickly. I know. It was very I good. I feel happy, but also very sad. Yes. That's At Jackie like Tone on Instagram is pretty much it. That's it. And we're going to see your feature film. It's going to be coming out. And I'm, I'm stay out tuned for, yes. Yes. Stay tuned for the Glowcast podcast, which will be out at some point. Please, God. And if you haven't watched Glow, for fuck's sake, oh, go yeah, watch, watch Glow. Glow. Yeah, what the hell? It's insane. Thank you so much for coming. My pleasure. Thank you for listening to Steph Back. What a fun episode. What a wonderful, gorgeous time. I love you, Susan. Okay, bye. <laughs>